We're heading down to Shepperton today, deep in English suburbia, most of England now being suburban, of course. I don't know if you're familiar with this collection of J.G. Ballard short stories, the best short stories of J.G. Ballard with an introduction uh, by Anthony Burgess. It's, uh, I think, one of the better collections. It, it contains some of the best stories, such as uh, The Assassination of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, considered as a downhill motor race. Of course, it has the Atrocity Exhibition. There is plan for the assassination of Jacqueline Kennedy. Good one. And my favourite, my personal favourite, J.G. Ballard uh, story, Why I Want to Fuck Ronald Reagan. And actually, I wish that they had had the guts, and, and actually, probably if it had been proposed to be done, I wish they had had the guts to call it uh, Why I Want to Fuck Ronald Reagan and Other Stories. Burgess's introduction is Here are two Burgess writes, The first thing to say about J.T. Ballard is not that he is among our finest writers of science fiction, but that he is among our finest writers of fiction to core. Ballard himself might retort, that granted the first claim, the second is redundant. Burgess continues. Ballard considers that the kind of limitation that most contemporary fiction accepts is immoral, a shameful consequence of the rise of the bourgeois novel. Language exists less to record the actual than to liberate the imagination. <clears throat> to go forward, as Ballard does, is to go back. Scientific apocalypse and pre-scientific myth meet in the same creative region. Ballard's characters are creatures of the earth. Why devise fanciful new planets when we have our own planet on which strange things are already happening, on which the ultimate strange happening is linked to present actualities or latencies. And describing the typical protagonist in the J.G. Ballard novel, Burgess writes, A new kind of man evolves, enslaved by engines of subliminal persuasion to ever-increasing consumption. The mediator between that world and this is a credible human being in a classic situation 
tragical stoical. He fights change on our behalf, but he cannot win. Incidentally, uh, I don't know if he knew this. JJ Bell turned down offer of an OBE. This is a British commander of the most excellent order of the British Empire. Uh, he, he rejected this. He didn't make a big thing of it. It's just that I think he was in interviews and somebody asked him. And he, he describes the British honours system as a Ruritanian charade. And when he said that, he really did earn my admiration. Uh, how he differed from Anthony Burgess in, in that respect. Burgess, uh, I suspect, uh, would have been rather delighted to, to receive uh, one of these ridiculous British armies. I mean, he happily became a commandeur des arts et des lettres uh, in, in uh, this French nonsense and was a Commandeur du mérite culturel of Monaco. Uh, Monaco, as you know, being a kind of a tax dodging Ruritania. Uh, 